everywhere burst in the early half today as Pastor Chris have finally come out to unveil what anybody did not know regarding late Prophet T.B. Joshua. You know, a lot of speculations have been out there regarding T.B. Joshua and BBC released a documentary regarding T.B. Joshua and a lot of people came out to see what T.B. Joshua did to them. The atrocity that T.B. Joshua committed. Why some people begin to mend their comment that is this thing really real or not? Did T.B. Joshua actually do this or he did not do this? But Pastor Chris has been a very close friend to T.B. Joshua before they finally parted. So you will see the video here yourself. Everywhere boy has Pastor Chris reveal what nobody knows regarding Tim Joshua. Why he separated for Tim Joshua? What he saw? Just stay connected. You will hear what Tim Joshua did to him. Just stay connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lachibong Wash TV. I don't have bad news for you today. The whole of religious gossip. And the boys will leave the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now. It makes sense with Lachibong. Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome back to Lajipo Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the very first time, ensure you click the red subscription button appearing on your video screen and do well to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in a few hours time, YouTube will easily let you to know. The video I'm bringing to you now is not even a political of the There is a religious gossip because this platform is meant for religious gossip and political of the, you know, I'll be giving you back to back updates regarding what I've been happening in the political zone. But today we are on what is happening in the religious zone, you know, it was a few days ago that BBC came out with the documentary of TV joshua and they released part one part of part three episode one to three of it and you know a lot of people actually captured this video a lot of people saw the atrocities that tb joshua did when it was alive you know tb joshua is a very renowned man of god as far as nigeria is concerned do a lot of pastors categorizes him they go against him when he was alive and even when he even died but this video of bbc opened the eyes of a lot of people to what they don't really know you know a lot of people after bbc released the video a lot of people were attacking bbc why some people were actually saying that the tip joshua really do this thing or not a lot of people did not still believe their eye because tip joshua is known to be a very good philanthropist but pastor chris have finally come out you know pastor chris have ministered with tip joshua before they were together then they were ministering together then tip joshua used to invite him at times then i mean in the 90s until pastor chris finally separated himself from tip joshua and he did not want to have anything to do with tip joshua again what happened what did pastor chris saw Pastor Chris have finally come out now after BBC released the documentary about TB Joshua and Pastor Chris have scattered everywhere. He shaked that life table. What no man knows about TB Joshua is being unveiled. I would like us to stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share this video, ensure you share it. Share to different social media platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can't share it, just like it. Like it, give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. The secret is finally out. You know, this BBC documentary that was released about TB Joshua, it was based on the prophecy of Pastor Adeboye. You know, Pastor Adeboye made a prophecy towards the ending of 2023 and he said a lot of secrets will be exposed. A lot of secrets will be exposed both in the political zone and in the religious zone. You know, Pastor Adeboye said it all and mind you, he said everything will happen. All the secrets will happen in 2024. Now, we are still just in January. A lot of secrets has been exposed. It is this in January 2024 that BBC released a documentary about the atrocities of TB Joshua. Now, I'd like us to stay connected and see the video of where Pastor Chris have ministered with TB Joshua before, just for you to understand what I'm saying in this place. They were both friends before. So after you finish watching the video of where Pastor Chris have ministered and they have been with TB Joshua before, you will see what Pastor Chris finally said a few hours ago regarding TB Joshua. Just stay connected. You will see the video here. Ensure you share this video. I'm coming back again. <laughs> I'm Chris Alford from Amsterdam and uh, I am friend and uh, we have a business relation and I see the videos what God is doing here and I know God can help him, God can heal him. No doctor in this world can heal me and I know with all my heart Jesus Christ can do it. That. Amen.
Look at the screen of a television. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the screen of a television. Look at Father, we of thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Your name is perfection. Father, come and perfect this miracle. Heal him, O Lord. In Jesus' name. Come on. Yeah. This is glorious. This is extraordinary. This is wonderful. Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. As you can see, that was the video that TB Joshua released. And that was the video of where Pastor Chris actually ministered with TB Joshua. And you know, this same Pastor Chris came out after some time. He said that video of where he was ministering with TB Joshua, I said TB Joshua actually invited him. That TB Joshua invited him that he have no know a lot about TB Joshua then that TB Joshua actually used him in that video because a lot of pastors did not actually believe in TB Joshua. A lot of pastors did not believe in the miracle that TB Joshua is doing and all of that because this same TB Joshua they ask him questions based on how he got the salvation and all of that then they said he got born again right from his mother's womb and all of that so a lot of Pentecostal pastors they did not believe TB Joshua including Adeboyo Yidepo and all of that now Pastor Chris was used in that video according to what Pastor Chris said himself so you will hear Pastor Chris saying everything yourself you will hear him saying everything clearly he spoke about how TB Joshua did everything what TB Joshua did to him you will hear everything yourself just stay connected and do it to share this video and if you can't share it just like it let it go viral let a lot of people stop their speculation regarding tb joshua is it really real or not all those speculations have been out there even before tb joshua died but you hear the true story here you hear how he have been doing everything it's not even about the bbc documentary alone just stay connected you hear from pastor chris i'm coming back again <laughs> to start and get the most important information to the fore. All of this, any important examination will do for you. Then, of course, there are other things that follow. There are other things that follow. Someone who's trained will always do better than one who's not. See, in everything in life that is proved, God never uses an untrained person. He may call you before you are trained, but until you are trained, He will not use you. Many times He will call someone even before He was born. You see, but until you are properly trained, you can do God's work. He always have, have you trained. He also told us not to anoint a novice. So there, he's talking about a newcomer on the job. See, a newcomer on the job. A child on the job. One who's yet to know how to put the information to work. So the several things we would, would want to look at. And um, firstly, being a team member. The work that the Lord has asked us to do requires that we be properly structured, well organized. And... Um, he expects us to know that the example that he's given to us is what can help us achieve. Jesus came and he raised a team to accomplish his work. As the Son of God, one would have thought that he should achieve everything he wanted to do with angels and himself. Just give the word and make it happen. Then he could come into a street and say, everybody here, you are saved. And they should all immediately be saved. But 
he didn't act like that because that would not give the result and God always does the best things the first time that means whatever he did was the best that should have been done so what he did was the best thing so he got some disciples trained them over a period of time and showed them what to do now I said he trained his men and then gave them the work to do and with that team he accomplished a lot in fact what he accomplished with that little team is what we are standing on today almost 2,000 years afterward was still on what he began both to do and teach until the day he was taken up praise God I think that's wonderful I think that's really exciting especially when you consider the fact that this was a work that was fought by uh, all kinds of forces spiritual and human they tried to snuff out his life they tried everything to annihilate the church and instead of getting uh, destroyed the church got stronger and stronger stronger and stronger in the face of opposition in the face of persecution you know when I think of the history of the church I get excited to think that this is something in this world that the whole world has fought against and never been able to defeat hallelujah and we will not be the first <laughs> to be defeated hallelujah we will not be the first to be defeated the church will never be defeated it is his his dominion is an everlasting dominion that will never pass away a kingdom that will never be destroyed amazing hallelujah and that's why when God gives you something to do when he gives you something to do you should be excited because it's got nothing to do with your ability when it gives you an assignment when it gives you a job it's got nothing to do with your personality he doesn't make choices according to your personality he doesn't make choices according to your personal talents no he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't reading from the Bible we saw him call the, the nobodies of history and make something out of them we saw him call those that had no abilities and make them extraordinary I remember when I you know had some friends many years ago when we were students and we were talking about pastoring and on several occasions they laughingly said to me you can't be a pastor I knew they were wrong 
I just laughed along with them. They said, oh, you, you can't be a pastor. They said, you, you can only be an evangelist. In fact, one time they said, uh, I couldn't teach. That I was not a teacher. I wasn't called to teach. Several times, you know, several times as we had discussions, they tried to analyze my calling. They're always wrong. They're always wrong. That I wasn't called to be a teacher, I couldn't teach. I wasn't called to be a pastor, I couldn't pastor. Why? Because they didn't see the qualities of a pastor. <laughs> well, many years have come and gone, and history bears witness. You see, because when they were saying those things, I knew they were wrong. What I was thinking about was when God calls you, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks, it doesn't matter what they see, it's the calling and the power of the Holy Spirit. That's where they were wrong. That's where they were wrong. And so when you, when you look at what has happened in the church through the years you can understand that with God anything is possible. And that he always wants us to dream and dream and dream. Hallelujah. A prophet of God draws people to God and not to other gods but to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and draws people to the Word not to himself or to some other God and then the things that he says come to pass now that's a little a little tricky because um, sometimes you have a true prophet who makes mistakes because there are some who have made mistakes and uh, don't forget that you are not made a pastor or a prophet or an evangelist because you're perfect you see so sometimes some of them can make some mistakes I don't want you to judge them with the the mistakes um, because sometimes out of enthusiasm or that's over enthusiasm or the expectations of those who are around them um, they can do or say things that they're not supposed to do and then some might not even be living right and so uh, uh, things go wrong because they're not paying attention to the Holy Spirit but that doesn't make them false prophets see a, a, a true prophet can make mistakes and say the wrong thing as a true evangelist can say the wrong thing you know so sometimes there are problems like that so um, there are other distinguishing factors does he walk in love a key a key walking in love of Christ is very important then the consistency of the Word of God in his mouth because as you have a false prophet, you can have a false pastor. You can have a, have a false teacher. And then the Bible also talks about false brethren. So it's not only false prophets. There are false prophets according to the scriptures. There are false teachers according to the scriptures. And there are false brethren according to the scriptures. And you're going to know all of this in the same way. Sometimes not immediately. See, uh, you may not know immediately. Sometimes it takes a while, but you will see certain things consistently, especially faltering on the Word of God consistently is a major sign. Faltering on the Word of God consistently is a major sign. It's a major sign. And then there are other problems that make it very difficult 
um, you got the 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 use of uh, material mediums incidentally there are true Christians true pastors prophets uh, evangelists teachers and so on including apostles there are true ones that have been misled into the use of material mediums see uh, uh, praying through certain things uh, they've got some cloth to pray through they've got some 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 water some holy water to pray through the, the, they've got all of this stuff and they are problems because um, a true prophet shouldn't use them but some of them have used them and some are using them so it becomes rather difficult to distinguish between them for some people especially when you understand that sometimes some of these ministers have come from a background where uh, they were children and grandchildren of priests and priestesses juju priests and priestesses so some of these things they have carried over into christianity and they're using them so uh, i'm saying that's not enough to condemn them because they're, they're using some things out of their ignorance and someday soon uh, they'll learn from those mistakes and uh, stop using them so uh, that's why that's not enough to tell that they are false but if you listen to the word of God that's taught you that's the most important go to the scriptures for yourself go to the scriptures for yourself and listen to what they're saying compare what you're hearing to what is in the word okay and that will help you because if that minister continues to falter on the word of God you got to know something is wrong Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can hear what Pastor Chris said. You know, many of these pastors, when they actually want to talk about themselves, they will never come straight. They will never mention the name of themselves. You know, it is not only Pastor Chris that is saying something related about T.B. Joshua and all of that. A lot of Pentecostal pastors out there have actually spoken about T.B. Joshua. And many of them said they did not believe in the fact that God called T.B. Joshua. A lot of them are saying that T.B. Joshua is occulted that the way he used to do his miracles, the way he used to do his hand the demonstration of how he used to perform his miracles and all of that they said it is not biblical they said it is until you follow the biblical doctrine that is when you're going to believe whether god call you or not they said tb joshua what tb joshua is actually practicing they said it is not biblical they said tb joshua is a magician they said he performs magic and he called the miracle they said tb joshua hide under the umbrella of the so-called christianity under the umbrella of christ that is where tb joshua is perpetrating and doing all is even you know before tb joshua died they did not add him to the pentecostal fellowship of nigeria and can did not even recognize him and all of that they said no because they asked him question based on his salvation that how did he get born again what is the story of his salvation and tb joshua gave the response he said he did not get born again through anybody that god called him right from his mother's womb and he got born again from his mother's womb that he did not believe in whatever any pastor is saying out there or all of that so many of the pastors say that what T.B. Joshua said is not biblical, it's not in the biblical line. So they begin to categorize him, they begin to go against him. So you can see that none of them go to synagogue church to minister. You will never see a Pentecostal pastor going to synagogue church to minister or a pastor on that can. They all believe that T.B. Joshua is not of God. So T.B. Joshua invited Pastor Chris then. Then, that was in the 90s. The video you just finished watching where Pastor Chris was ministering with T.B. Joshua, that was in the 90s. So according to what Pastor Chris said, he said, then he have no known much about T.B. Joshua. I have not known the real identity of T.B. Joshua. I have not known who T.B. Joshua is. He said T.B. Joshua invited him to come and heal someone with him. So T.B. Joshua, according to what Pastor Chris said, Pastor Chris said T.B. Joshua did that just for him to gain recognition because Pastor Chris was already trending then. He was already a public figure then. A lot of people are actually sorting for him and a lot of people are actually looking for him and they respect him as the man of God that he is. So T.B. Joshua used 
his influence to bring him to his church and all of that so that we gain the attention of people that oh for pastor chris to go to tb joshua church that shows that tb joshua is of god that shows that tb joshua is a true man of god and a lot of people will believe so well in him because he called pastor chris and a lot of people believe that pastor chris is a true man of god that for pastor chris to go to tb joshua church that shows that he saw something reasonable and cool about tb joshua so after all those scenarios pastor chris came and said tb joshua actually used him he used his head so that was the scenario now you can see everything that is happening out there you can see the atrocities that they said tb joshua committed we don't really know how true it is or not it is only god that can say you know before tb joshua died they have been attacking him left and right blue and black they said tb joshua is not of god and even when he died a lot of people came and that tb joshua will go to hell that they saw him in hellfire burning and all of that a lot of videos show face when tb joshua died then and the same thing is still happening now after this man still died many years after the documentary is still released again and a lot of pastors actually came out again to talk about this same man they are still talking about tb joshua repetitively and they did not see anything positive about him it is only few among the nigerian pastors that are actually defending tb joshua presently it's just only few of them i saw a video that showcased face few hours ago regarding how tinubu was talking about the fact that tb joshua documentary that bbc released is not cool at all that tb joshua even before he died that when he was the governor of lagos state that they have been attacking tb joshua you know the church of tb joshua is situated in lagos and tinubu was the governor of lagos state then so tinubu was saying that tb joshua had been on attack even when he was the governor of lagos that tb joshua is a very good man yes everybody know that he's a very good philanthropist so i don't really know because i saw that video on tiktok i don't really know maybe it was tinubu that was talking or it was doctored so i don't really know about that though but the video that keep coming out regarding a general pastor is still on attack they said tb joshua what those people said about tb joshua in bbc they said they are true fact that those are the atrocities that tb joshua actually committed that he just hiding under the umbrella of the christianity they said the tb joshua that we know on camera is different from the tb joshua that we know outside camera that is having a very negative lifestyle that is a rapper and all of that they said a lot of things so you can see everything that is going on what do you guys think and let us just drop your opinion in the comment section of this video do you really think it is only tb joshua that is doing all these things in nigeria do you really think all those things they said about tb joshua if it is really true because i don't really know how true it is but do you really think it is tb joshua alone that is doing all those things in nigeria is there no other nigerian pastor that is doing all those acts is there no any other pastor in nigeria that is doing all those things drop your opinion in the comment section of this video as i'm going under to get another turn down there for you ensure you follow me on my social media handles on facebook at life for watch tv and life for entertainment and on instagram at life for guess what guys see you in my next video bye Pastor where they bar, where where? Politics are where they do pass me, say. Follow me down. Why you wait for church? All I slide you back was me.